My name is Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and pretty much I go sourcing at garage sales, uh, thrift stores, bin stores, storage units, online liquidation, like you guys name it, I'm trying to do it. Yo, 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 what's good everybody? It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, and the wifey is currently on the couch. Look at this, you guys. I shaved my beard, finally, uh, <laughs> which, is, which is interesting. So, um, I know the sunlight is out, and that's because I'm doing this intro after this trip to the Deals and Steals bin store. I uh, forgot to do an intro because we left at midnight, got there about 1.30 in the morning, and there were still four people ahead of us, so uh, it's kind of crazy. This video is, is pretty nutty. Um, the reasoning why is because one, all the items that we found, and then two, the owner of the store ended up throwing money everywhere on the or in the bins uh, on the floor etc etc so you can literally find dollar bills we didn't really go for the dollar bills we ended up getting like 12 dollars <laughs> so uh it is what it is um but we ended up just going for the for the stuff that was in the bins and uh i think we did extremely well so um i will show you guys the live stream like little bits and pieces of it of why we went um the store is in Jessup, Georgia. It's an hour and a half away. Normally we don't go that far just because of the drive, um, but stuff like this makes me want to do more trips down there. It's just an hour and a half drive there, hour and a half drive back, and that's just assuming you're gonna find stuff. But every time we go there, we usually find something. So I know this is a bit of a long intro. The wifey will be joining me. So we will see you guys at the bin store when they open up at 9 a.m. When we emptied these Gaylords guys, the stuff went right into the bins. And these bins are probably nicer at the bottom. You got Apple pencils. Uh, I've seen quite a few of those. We put money in the bins for you guys. Everybody thought that was kind of crazy and awesome. And hey, some of you thought it was a chaotic, you know, it's gonna make things chaotic, but I disagree. It's gonna make things fun. If you think it's crazy, you don't wanna come have a good time, you ain't gotta come. But for those of you that wanna come, wanna have a good time, we're gonna make it fun. We're just gonna have a good time. <gasps> The money's gonna be right there. Come in and pick it up. Y'all want some more? It's gonna be right there. Just come in and pick it up. Listen, y'all, we're here to have fun. We're here to have a good time. Um, I'd say there's probably, we put three, four hundred in there earlier. Here's another five hundred. I'll put some more. There'll be at least a thousand dollars scattered out everywhere in here. We want you guys to come in and get it. Y'all, the merchandise is stupid good. Cause I know I am. Here you go. That bin is loaded. You're going to want to hit that bin when you come in. Let me show them. Let me show them what we got. Look at this. You've got Harry Potter Legos. That's 50, 60, 80, 100 bucks. Who knows? $8. You got water picks. Eight bucks. Revlon. Listen, and this stuff goes down, guys. Look at this. Told y'all. Toys. Uh, all kinds of toys. You got kid toys, adult toys. You got games. I've seen uh, Madden 22. Sheet sets. Chi. You got string lights. You name it. Great, great stuff, y'all. There's money everywhere. It's all going to sit there. We're absolutely crazy. Crazy down here. Um, anyway, y'all get down here. Come check us out this Saturday. 223 West Plum Street in Jessup. We got so much great merchandise. You don't want to miss it. So much money in the bins. It's crazy. I challenge you to come down here and try to find you 100 items that ain't worth $8. I'll pay you to do so. We'll see you all this weekend. 223 West Plum Street. Go. Go, Charlie. Go. Oh. 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 you. Couple ones in here. Little sets. Little sets. Little sets. <clears throat> Put a money in here. Put a money. Oh, 
Did you get it? Yes, I did. Nice. <laughs> Are you gonna grab this right here? No, no, no. Oh, okay. You want it? Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. No problem. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Here you go, little man. Yeah, but what are you saying, Marcia? <laughs> I heard him say something about a dollar, so I'll give him a dollar. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy your work, sir. Oh, the YouTube videos? Oh, yeah. oh, thank you, man. Hey, what's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy? Yeah. Brandon, man. I'll make sure to push you in the video. Talk, dude. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate you. I'm in the big leagues. Told him don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston. Hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh. Send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when he throwin' the fastball. Just too quick for it. Peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort, this piss poor. I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and the rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten to. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip. Got old problems with the friends new. Yeah, I'm in the big leagues. Told him don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. Yeah, I need a bag, bruh. Send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in a big lease. Yeah, I told him I'ma hit it out of stands. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Told him this was always in the plans. I just did it cause they said I can't. Yeah, we got a lot. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, we're, gonna come, we're gonna come right back in. All right, guys, so this is our first load. Um, got Legos, got all types of stuff and goodies, and you guys will see the recap at the end. I'm gonna go in there and do a second um, go through uh, without the GoPro just to kind of take my time and see if we can find anything else. But uh, the wife did really good. She got her Lego set like she wanted. I found a whole bunch of good stuff. She found a whole bunch of good stuff. So you guys will see the recap whenever we get home. Yo, what's good, everybody? Check it out. We're back at the house, of course. It's weird doing the intro, showing you guys the the footage and then doing the recap it's kind of weird but anyways we're back at the house and or 112 and then 216 which that right there adds up to 329 dollars is that right one thing too we also spent 419 dollars so 420 dollars uh at the other bin store yesterday so we have over 700 dollars invested in so much product man uh, it's kind of crazy and that's all because you guys like i said you guys continue to inspire us because you guys come to the videos you guys genuinely give me your time which i can never ever pay back and that's one thing i've always said time is something that you can never get back you know so i appreciate you guys being here i appreciate you guys this time and uh i just love our community that we have so we have 
25 plus 13 so that means we have 38 items that we got uh some stuff for us and then uh some stuff to resell online so before we get into the recap itself the wife is stealing two of the legos one of them wasn't really stolen one the other one was but this as you guys know she collects harry potter legos and she has this Harry Potter advent calendar. Um, there's the box right there. Um, it was not, uh, she had, she doesn't have this part of her collection, um, which is right here. And so she decided to keep that and then show them the big one. So this one is not in her collection. She's been wanting it for a hot minute. And this is, I mean, obviously the box is messed up, which is fine. The biggest thing for her is just to build them. But this is a tack on the burrow. Um, so yeah, it's very cool stuff. This is one that goes for like $100, $150, or something like that. And we got it for eight bucks. So that was a, an extremely cool find. And she will obviously build that in no time. Ain't that right, baby? Yeah. Aren't you excited? Yeah. Tell the people how you think we did today. I think we done freaking awesome. I think we did good, baby. Yeah. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and get into the recap. Please do not make fun of me for not having my beard because I know I look like 20 years younger. Hopefully, anyways, hopefully. Um, again, the Lego stuff, most likely I am going to keep because like I said, you guys, it helps me de-stress and that's one thing that I recently found out, uh, probably in the past, what, what would you say, three weeks yeah. or so, um, that I figured that out and I realized that it occupies my time, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and get into the recap. All right, guys. So this is all the Lego stuff. I'll just kind of show you guys what I'll be keeping. So this is the Lego classic, uh, 484 pieces. This is kind of like one where you can kind of build whatever you want. And then we got Baby Yoda. Look at that, 75318. It's not Baby Yoda, it's the child. Baby Yoda, the child, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. I'll throw the soul comp on there just because. We're not going to add that to our potential profit. But 75318, and you guys will see what this is uh, uh, worth. But each item was $8, which is amazing. Um, this is the other Harry Potter Lego set. Um, my wife already has this one. This is the Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake. Uh, in the Chamber of Secrets, if you guys remember Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, so I will be building this myself, even though we already have one built. Then we got this one right here, another Lego Classic um, 11002, uh, 300 pieces. So that's pretty uh, dope as well. Over here we have a Lego Minecraft one. There we go. Uh, 21171 is called the horse stable. So Minecraft stuff is pretty cool to me, I guess. Um, and then we got a big one, which is Ninjago. Um, yeah, there it is right there. Very cool stuff. This one is 71752, 356 pieces. So my goal is to get every single Lego set eventually, but that's kind of like a big dream, right? <laughs> so not sure that's going to happen. Um, but if we can find them for seven, eight bucks, we're probably just going to pick them up so we can... So we can build them. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this stuff. What is this? Um, oh, okay. So apparently this is for the puppies. So the puppies get something too. So these are puppy pads. Oh goodness, there we go. All right, so those are puppy pads. So that's that's for us right there. All right, over here we have some of these uh, 3M work tunes. Um, very cool stuff. Box a little messed up, but hopefully these are brand new on the inside. Um, but I don't really know what soul comp is on this, but you guys will see it. All right, we sold one of these before and we actually got it at the bins before. This is the Black Shark V2 Pro. I don't remember what this sold for last time, but I wanna say 60 or 70, maybe 80, I'm not too sure. You guys will see the soul comp. Over here we have this Chi Spin and Curl. Um, I do not know the, uh, the price of this. However, Chi stuff usually does pretty well. All right, right here, kind of a common bread and butter item it's a water pick water flosser these things uh do extremely well um over time but uh this is the water pick water flosser I'm trying to find a model number on here i don't see it but either way we will find that sold comp for you guys all right you guys know i'm infamous of my brother toner tn 760 um toner and uh, we will obviously open it up just to verify that it is brand new you guys will see the sole comp um shout out to uh, a guy named uh jeremy he uh, came up to me and he was like hey man i love your work and i, I was like oh you're talking about the youtube channel he's like yeah man yeah yeah and uh he told me that his experience with buying toner just from watching my videos and he said he brought in like 240 dollars and i was like wow that's that's amazing so uh that was really cool do not sleep on toner you guys if you guys do see him out there in the wild 
All right, guys, we have a, oh, a dumbbell here, 25 pound dumbbell. I'm probably going to keep this for myself because eventually I want to start a gym in my garage once I can figure that out, whenever that will happen. But that's gonna be for myself. All right, guys, so we actually have two of these Baby Bliss Pro Nano Titanium Rollers, uh, roller set, and we have two of them, one, two. Um, so yeah, uh, we did not open these, just hopefully they're brand, they're brand new on the inside. <clears throat> All right, again, got another water pick flosser. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful thing. So, you know, not one, but two of them. All right, you guys, so the next thing we have is this Sinestech portable FM transmitter, model ST-05B. Um, this one appears to be brand new on the inside. Put a sole comp on that. All right, next we have this AT&T 3 handset answering system with smart call blocker. And the model on this is BL102-3. So very cool there. All right, so in the bin store, we found one, two, three, and four of these Nokia 225 4G phones. Is there five? Oh yeah, wait, there you go. So there's five of them. Um, I think these things are going for like 50 bucks a piece. As far as the loose one, not too sure what that one will go for. Um, but yeah, we got all these Nokia phones. Um, matter of fact, I think this is the one that the phone goes to. Look at that. <laughs> so there it is. So we actually got four, babe. So we paid 16 bucks technically for one because one one was, was, was without a phone and the individual phone. <laughs> so uh, you didn't put the individual phone back, did you? Okay. Yeah, so it's all good though. But these right here should sell for 50 a piece. We will double verify that, um, you know, with the soul comps and all that good stuff. We got one of these August Connect Wi-Fi bridge. I think this right here is going for 50. Um, either way, you guys see the soul comp. Uh, if you guys remember the last bin store video, um, I actually found an extra one. We thought we had 11, but apparently we had 12. Um, so this is not part of this haul, but just wanted to throw you, show you guys that don't lose your product in the back of your truck. All right, got a little Steel Series Rival 3 wireless mouse. Steel Series is a great brand. Not going to bring in a whole lot of money, but I believe this thing goes for 20 plus, I believe. Next, we have this TP Link uh, Wi Fi dimmer switch three way kit, and we actually have two of those. Um, uh, we do really well with TP-Link um, stuff, so we decided to pick both of these up. All right, this is kind of a, a rare sight. We found a willow tree um, item. I'm not sure what it is, but it's, oh, okay, so this right here is called, well, I don't know what it's called. Our Gift. Our Gift. Oh, okay, I get you. It's called Our Gift, and that's kind of what the little wooden figure looks like. Um, willow tree stuff does extremely well. If you guys do not know what that is, willow tree is a bolo item to pick up. All right, guys, this was kind of interesting. Um, Timex uh, makes all types of stuff, you know, watches and whatnot. This is a watch. Um, I don't know what it looks like on the inside, but Timex watches, I believe this thing's going for like 50. Um, you guys will obviously see the sole comp, but it says T785829J. So we'll see about that. All right, guys, so then we have this Oral-B Smart 5000 toothbrush. Very cool stuff. You can't never go wrong with Oral-B stuff water picks that type of stuff it's kind of like bread and butter items all right so the wife found this brawn series 5 uh razor um hopefully it's not used because we didn't check anything um which i highly recommend to check your items we just usually don't because we're lazy about it and two we're just trying to get in and out as quick as possible but if you guys are new resellers or seasoned veterans of reselling Obviously, they know to look up everything um, for your research and then double check the insides of the boxes. But either way, hopefully that's going to be a little bit of money. All right, guys. Then we got two of these Air Things. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that's the brand name, Air Things. And they are these digital radon detectors. Um, I don't... Or radon... De yeah, radon detectors. Um, I don't remember what these go for. Charlie, do you remember? They go... 60 70 bucks okay 80. 80 bucks these go for 80 so you guys will see the sole comp regardless but we found two of them charlie found one and then i found one all right then this was actually kind of surprising this surprised me really this is a ken day or ken kind i don't know uh cozy bottle warmer um it appeared to look like it was used but i'm not too sure um, I got to take a more indefinite look for it, but um, this could go for a little bit of money. All right, this thing right here is a air compression leg massager. 
um, by Fit King. And I think these things right here are going for like 80 to 90 bucks um, if they're brand new on the inside. So that right there is kind of insane. So Fit King actually makes some pretty decent stuff. All right, next my wife found this Panasonic Arc Precision Shaving um, System, I guess is what it's called. It's ES-LV65. It's a rechargeable shaver. I'm um, not sure the value of that, but you guys will see it. And look at this, you guys, a third water pick. So that means we actually have two of this kind. So you guys already saw the uh, sole comp on this. All right, then we got a random case. It says Me Back, M-E-B-A-K. I don't even know what's in this, but let's find out. Oh, it's a massage gun. Okay, look at that. Very cool stuff. We like picking up massage guns uh, when we can. Um, they don't tend to sell super fast, but profit margins are always decently good so that's pretty cool and then my wife found this lavoie lavoit lavoie it is a smart ultrasonic cool mist humidifier classic 200s so she looked this up i don't know what it's worth but that uh looks promising i like it, it it's powered by v-sync so that sounds fancy all right guys and that is everything that we picked up at the jessup deals and stills bin store and we also got 12 dollars cash so whatever that's worth <laughs> um, that's guaranteed money though um some people probably might comment you know we should have just went for the money and just walked out but you know we had a couple things on our mind uh between you know doing the black friday uh deals uh bin store we were up that early in the morning and then turning right around again to do it again for saturday which is today uh it was just kind of we were stressed so we were just like you know let's shop a little bit for ourselves uh, which we never really do except for legos of course um, but uh, yeah, the wife ended up stealing the, you know, probably one of the most expensive things in that in that uh, haul, and that was the hundred fifty dollar Lego set. <laughs> so, um, baby, what? anything you want to say to the people before I let them go? I'm really tired. Yeah, we're both tired. Yeah. It's it's hard <clears throat> doing the like going to the bin store back to back days back to back days yeah. being there at like midnight and so on and so forth so it's like be prepared if you do it yeah bring snacks yep it's hard work isn't it yeah yeah it's hard work you guys but we made it happen just for you guys and like i said you guys motivate us a lot to do it and uh yeah so as you guys know between yesterday and today's video um both back to back days of the bin stores i have a lot of product to list hopefully some of it will ship or sell quick and all that good stuff. So, uh, much love. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. If not, just enjoy these videos whenever you guys can. Because um, either way, I appreciate your time no matter when, where, and what it is. <laughs> so, uh, much love, you guys. We'll see you guys next video. It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, and... The Wifey! The Wifey. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.